Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now as you can see in front of you here there's the uh, Leroygo DP832 sort of slash A and I love this power supply. The one problem that I have with it, one issue it has with, I have with it is this. I'm hoping you can hear it but it's the fan. The fan on this is like really loud. Now, if I have this on and I have, well normally if you have an oscilloscope on and stuff like that, you got two fans on the go that are quite noisy. This is when it's just in standby mode. So if I were to put a load on this, this thing gets even louder, quite a lot louder to be honest with you. Uh, normally with oscilloscopes, uh, their fans are quite noisy, the, the uh, Royal 1054Z, Z, and that to me was quite loud. And that's one of the reasons why I bought this, was because this one doesn't run the fan all the time. That's not the only reason I got it, but it's one of the reasons that I really like it. And uh, Now, if I were to have this on the go and have the boiler on the go as well because look it's here in the room with me and even down there on top of the oven there there's an air fryer i don't really use the oven at all but there's an air fryer there and it can all get really noisy in here and i hate that i like it nice and quiet so what i've got today is my last hack for this rigel hack upgrade whatever it is you want to call it and that's by sticking in a different fan. A fan that claims to go as low as 13 or is it 16 dB? Or goes as loud as 16 dB? I can't quite remember, but it's quiet anyway. Let me just have a little peek on there through the camera, I might be able to see it easier. There you go, you can see the dB there, look. Okay, so this isn't a uh, it's not a loud fan and even though that at the back doesn't sound that loud at the moment like I say under load it does get quite loud so this is what we're going for we're gonna put this fan into the Rigel and see how much difference it makes now before I do that I'm just gonna chuck a quick load on it so hold on okay so what we got here then is we got a, a power resistor this is a um, 10 ohms 10 watt resistor and we're going to be driving 10 volts through it at 1 amp which will give us 10 watts and if I put this on now you're going to hear the difference between I'm hoping you're going to hear the difference because the microphone I'm using is like attached to me but hopefully you can hear the difference so yeah that's not a very good example is it so okay as the um as that little one didn't make any difference, what I've done is I've got a heavier load here. This will be a 55 watt um, bulb. And I think we might have to ring that up. I think, I think we're going to be able to do it from 12 volts. But let's just try, see if we can. Putting 12 volts into this. Yeah, so I'm just going to say 12 volts. And we give it the three, the full three, uh, well, let's see if we can do this, three point two amps to give it the full amount of current I can possibly give it. Now listen to this. So this starts coming on, which it will. It's pulled it down because that's the maximum it can give it 33.7 watts. But you can definitely hear that fan going, can't you? And even though really thinking about it, it's not too bad. Still, I like the idea of putting this quieter fan in there. It's going to do just as much work. But it's going to be a lot quieter. And like I say, when you got this on the go, when you do the boiler kicks in, and if you were to have other things on here with fans in it, which I don't, uh, even my laptop, even though it's got two fans in there, it's very quiet really. Uh, it becomes quite annoying. So let's see what this is like and we'll do exactly the same thing when I've put the other fan in. Right, let's whip this apart.
this is what we're putting in. All sorts of connector cables here. These are all three pins on. And this one here has got three. Not quite sure what we're going to do about that because we've only got a thing for a two pin. Uh, this goes to a two pin. One of these has got to do, yeah, I hope. Or I just disconnect the one off the other. That's probably what we're going to be doing. And just using the, the two pin there, because we certainly can't put this on that three pin connector. So, oops, do it again. So how are we going to do this then? and get it working. Well, there's only two on here, so I'm just gonna nip this off here and I'll just solder. I'll cut this off and then I'll just solder that on the end of there, basically, and not use the yellow. If that's what's required, I'll find out. I was gonna say I'll use my power supply and power it up to find out which one makes it turn. But now I've got this in pieces, I don't actually have another power supply. There we go guys, so that's back in there. And this, reconnect this, bit of heat shrink on there. That thing's not gonna go anywhere, that it's gonna be a problem, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll pop that into that. Just twisting that other wire around those. Can't seem to get it to stay still though, but it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna hurt on this. Uh, that's that. I'm just re-put this back in. Reconnect this. Oh. Reconnect this. There we go. There it goes. Slide that back on there. Put that back through. Beautiful. I'm just going to do a quick test. Make sure we're blowing the right way. Because <laughs> we want to be shocking out. Working it out, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on here so the microphone is facing inwards. Uh, stop it from feeling like we're on a ship going all over the place. Power on. Yep. Slightly louder when um, it's first booting up, then settles down to a nice quiet sound again. I do like that, that's a big difference. That's a big difference from here where I am, it's you come to a yeah, little dis difference. From where I am, you gotta listen hard to even know if it's on or not. You can see by the display it is, but yeah, much better. Right, I'm gonna whack all this back together again and um, yeah, see it in situ, put it on there, see what it sounds like there. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Just put it on for it to go to standby, and it's boot up noise. We've got a bulb connected. Now, this thing, uh, the microphone is on me because, you know, it's going to be hearing from my ear level, which is pretty much here. <laughs> now, to be honest with you, that's a massive difference. I can hardly hear it. I can hardly hear it. That's a massive difference. Now let's give it a load. Let the fans start kicking in. I'm leaning forward a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, that's much more livable. That was the only thing that ever that I'd ever swing downwards on this power supply for was that the fan could be quite noisy. But that's uh, that's good enough. That's good enough for me any day of the week. Really, really happy. 
Let it just go back down to its normal level again. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I never fell out of love with this power supply, but I think I'm more in love with it now. As weird as that seems. <laughs> right. Cheers for watching, guys. If you got this far, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.